a tutorial on Insta360 Studio. Step 1. Download and install. Go to Insta360's website, click Downloads, select your camera, find Insta360 Studio and download the version for your operating system. Then double click on the Insta360 Studio package to install. Step 2. Preview 360 degree videos. Using a 5.7K Insta360 1R video as an example, drag the video into Studio. 5.7K videos will generate two files. You can drag either one into Studio. Studio will automatically associate it with the other. You can click the top left icon to preview different perspectives, such as Tiny Planet, Crystal Ball, Default, Natural View, and Flat. You can toggle off and on flow state stabilization. And select your desired stitching and audio settings. If you are unsatisfied with the stitching, you can select a reference frame and select Stitching Calibration. Step 3. Edit your 360 degree videos. Insta360 Studio's AutoFrame uses AI image recognition to recommend your best shots. To use this feature, click the Auto Frame icon in the file thumbnail. Studio will automatically recognize important subjects and highlights. After analyzing, the Auto Frame icon will turn yellow. Click the icon to preview the analyzed clips. Select the clips you want, and select your desired settings to export. Alternatively, you can use Free Capture to edit your video manually. Click Free Capture to start your edit. You can adjust the size of your timeline to suit the length of your video. Set Start and End Point to determine the length of your edit. Set your desired aspect ratio. The default is 16 to 9. Go to your starting point and click the keyframe button to set a new keyframe. Customize your pan, tilt, FOV, and the distance for any frame of your video. Drag and scroll to get the angle you'd like. You can also set the parameters in the bottom left corner. Add as many keyframes as you'd like to reframe the video. You can also set transitions between any pair of keyframes. The default is Smooth Dissolve. If you drag your keyframes to different points on the timeline, their settings will stay intact. Finally, you can adjust the speed of the whole video under play rate. Before finishing and exporting your video, you can save your progress and come back to it later. Select Rendering Settings and Saving Location, then Export. If you close the task window, the export process will continue in the background. Step 4. Edit bullet time video. Import a bullet time video. Set the start and end points. By adjusting FOV and distance settings. You can control the framing. 
select the aspect ratio you'd like. Note, bullet time videos do not support free capture. Turn on flow state stabilization. Adjust the stitching mode as you'd like. If you're unsatisfied with the stitching, you can select a reference frame and select Stitching Calibration. It's easy to save your video mid-edit and come back to it later. The settings you choose will still be in place. Then export the video. Step 5. Combine interval photos into a video. Import interval photos. Studio will automatically identify and group photos together. Adjust the stitching mode as you like. Right-click on the file thumbnail. Select Start Export. Select your desired resolution. Select Merge to Video to Export. Step 6. Preview your 180-degree videos. Import your 180-degree video into Studio. Make sure you have checked Flow State Stabilization and Lock Direction. The default projection type is Horizontal VR 180 3D LR. Select the projection type according to your needs. Set start and end points of your video. Save your editing parameters for future edits. Select rendering parameters and saving location and export the video.